Hey Aries, welcome to your Intimate Tarot. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. If this is not something you're interested in, your career tarot is out today as well. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Aries energy. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Aries energy. Yes, you can absolutely read sexual energy. I do it because it's just one more method to look at relationships where they're going, why? Long haul, short term, somewhere in the middle. Okay, you see for yourself. It's pretty straightforward. And every now and again, I get a little twist on it. You know, that would be the sexual piece. And that's awesome. But <laughs> honestly, they're just versions, they're just modified versions of the general love readings. It's just another method to look at it, right? What's going on for that Aries energy? I hope we see something good for your birthday month, honey. Let me tell you. I am so excited for that Aries energy. What's going on? This is the Tarot Deck of Sexual Magic, respectively. What's going on? If you watch tarot videos at all, it doesn't matter if it means somebody else. It does not matter. There are two basic rules. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Reverse energies as it applies. That's it. That's all we're going to say about that. All right. That's it. That's it. It's pretty basic. What's going on? Show me the Aries energy, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Aries. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Glad to see some improvement from your general love readings. I was so excited for you. have no idea. <laughs> no idea how excited I was for you to see some change. If you'd like to know what I'm talking about, check out your last general love reading. <laughs> What's that current sexual energy for Aries looking like? What's that current sexual energy, please? You have to forgive me. I'm a little down. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. You know, just got a lot going on this weekend. Um, completely overhauling my space so I can actually use my dining table again. That would be nice. And then also that dreaded little word. We are at the height of Paula's season here. No, honey does not work. No, the neti pot does not work. Thank you. I appreciate you, but no. Those two things do every year. Every year, people, no. Honey, I'm 40 years old. I go through pollen season every year, twice a year, because also fall. <laughs> honey, don't work. <laughs> I wish it did. It would be cheap and easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh let me tell you oh anyway oh, that's enough about me oh. what's currently going on for that area sexual energy please what's currently going on for that area sexual energy if you're new welcome i hope you stick around <laughs> show me that area sexual energy please what's up oh baby oh look at you it's gorgeous look at you oh Oh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, oh, King of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Can we just stay in this energy, please? Oh. <laughs> it's so affectionate, so loving. Oh, look at that. A lot of people don't know that about Aries. Your little soft and squishy side. Everybody just kind of sees that uh, somebody's going for war. I'm up for war. Let's do war. <laughs> Somebody say war, bro. Let's do some war. <laughs> That's you. You know it's you. <laughs> oh, somebody said war? I said, I'm down for war. Let's do war. You actually have quite the soft and squishy side. It takes a while for somebody to access it, as you know. Oh my God, but when you do, you're incredibly affectionate. Fiercely affectionate. You know, we have the king of wands here, so everybody thinks, oh, that's his fire, it's passion. No, no. Fire is wand energy. Fire lives in the here and now. Okay, so that means caring caring, caring about someone else, their affections, their affections towards you. Yeah, some of you are just very affectionate. You know, you have those little touches and those little hugs. And I know, I understand Aries is my moon and rising. I'm the same way. You you know, it's, it's those little things, those little gestures, okay, that show someone that you care, be it physically or verbally, okay? So some of you are quite affectionate. You're just all about that hug. Okay, you would never know it, but once you get to know Aries in that way, that's very much how you are. And uh, you both communicate quite well, as far as I can tell, your Nine of Cups energy, your wishes, wants, and expectations, be it emotionally or physically, because the Nine of Cups here is the implication of both. Um, it seems like you have a very good way of conversing with the both of you of what makes you, that's what I was saying right there as I said that, the Two of Wands is the underlying. You both have a really good way of speaking your truths about what would make each other happy emotionally and physically, and, and I'm guessing you are quite affectionate in this connection. Oh, this is gorgeous. 
I want to do a time check. You may not have met this person yet. This can also be future oriented. So for those of you Aries who are looking at this all pissed off because you're single, honey, this may have yet to be. So do keep that in mind. Timelines are tar uh, flexible in tarot. It has to be. When you read for the collective energy, it's just, it can't be any other way. Show me the mutual, please. Show me the mutual. It looks <laughs> incredibly mutual to me. Show me the mutual energy, please. That's just so gorgeous, honey. It's so you're very caring and very nurturing towards your partner. You meet their, their needs physically as well as emotionally quite well, as far as I can tell. Show me the mutual. Mm. Man, some of you really... Wow. Wow. I know that looks negative. Let me tell you something. I know that looks negative, and on clarification, I'm probably going to see something very different. See, your confidence is underlying this. Six of Wands. So for the both of you, it looks like it was a struggle to come together, but once you did, it became quite cohesive. Is that what I'm saying? We have the Eight of Swords energy and the Eight of Cups. At one point, it felt like the both of you were drifting apart. Okay, but here's your energy moving forward, as I'm seeing here with the Six of Wands. All right. Mutually speaking, I feel like you two waltzed away and then you waltzed back together, didn't you? And um, let me put it this way. When you made up, it was fierce. Somebody put on their Viking hat. I think I know who it was. <laughs> so no wonder. Oh, we have a theory. I haven't seen a makeup in a long time. Oh my, we didn't like that, did we? We did not like separating. Because here's the thing about the Eight of Cups in this deck. You can waltz together. Waltz apart. And with this Eight of Eight energy, neither one of you liked it. It's also under the mutual. Neither one of you liked it. You didn't like this. So you might have been separated by physical distance and there was no choice in the matter. Okay, like there was no choice in the matter. Or perhaps you had an argument where somebody just could not see what the hell the issue was. I don't know. But you two made up. <laughs> lovely lovely oh my god yes i see shit like this it's just been a while a long time since i've seen you know what there is a reason why in tarot we see such heavy reconciliation energy but it's rarely made good on it's rarely made good on it's almost always theoretical if it's actually happening i'll tell you but um it's just hard for people to get past their pride in these scenarios in their head, in the Eight of Swords, where I should have said this, and this is what you should have thought, and this is what you should have felt, and this is what should have happened. Yeah, and then reality actually happens, you know. Two people want to reconcile so that they can say their piece, say what they needed to say, do what they needed to do, get a second chance, I want to hear I'm sorry, but very rarely do people do it because their pride and ego and all that shit gets in the way. So, congratulations to you. You're able to come back together with your person and fiercely. You got out of your head, they got out of their head. I don't know, it's looking like it got resolved. And how? Show me the strengths, please. Show me Aries strengths, please. So, congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. You don't even know, if you watch Tarot, you know you know, you've seen for yourself how much reconciliation isn't pushed, it's just apparent. And I'm telling you, like 80% of it, 70% of it, is theoretical. People want it, but they don't actually do it. Most people don't have the nerve. You can quote me. So congratulations to you. You have the nerve. To get out of your shit, get out of your head, raise the white flag, have the nerve to make the first conversation, you know, got over your ego, whatever, takes two, as we see, takes two, show me the strengths please for Aries, see, that's exactly what I'm fucking talking about, right here, there's a reason I went on that little spiel, pay attention to my spiels by the way, they're very rarely random, there's a reason why I'm talking about it, and then I pull a card that reflects that, your strengths is that you absorb the three swords. Whatever happened, whatever went down, you dealt with it. You fucking dealt with it, didn't you? Because you understood the longer vision of the thing. You absorbed the three swords. 
You absorbed it. Whatever the pain was, whatever the fear was, fear of rejection, fear of having an honest conversation, fear of being able to get back together, whatever. You overrode it. Okay? You overrode it. Weaknesses, issues, obstacles. Weaknesses, issues, obstacles. That's a hell of a thing. To absorb the Three of Swords. And like, you know what? I refuse to live in fear. I refuse to live in a state of fear of rejection. Of heart, pace, heart space pain. I'm in pain. I realize that. I don't want to break up. I want to be together. I'm overriding this. I'm overriding it. Because guess what? I'd rather be with you than not. Somebody actually said that. Somebody literally said that. Show me the weaknesses, issues, obstacles here. What does Aries need to know? Okay. You are slowly but surely moving towards the Ten of Cups, or you wonder, or you doubt, or you don't know. It's kind of what I'm saying, isn't it? You don't know if this is going to lead to a Ten of Cups, or perhaps the issue was it was moving so slow you couldn't see the Ten of Cups with this person. You don't know. But you would rather find out than not. So again, congratulations to you. You don't know if this is going to lead to a Ten of Cups. You don't know. It's going slowly. Okay? Or perhaps somebody, your person might be accusing you of moving too slowly towards the Ten of Cups. They don't know how to see it. There you are, as I made that point. Okay? All right, the Emperor, that's you. That's your power card underlying that point, as I said that. So it might be your weakness then, literally, is that you, Aries, that's hard to fathom. That's really hard to fathom that Aries is moving too slow towards the Ten of Cups. And uh, perhaps it took breaking apart to understand I would rather be with this person than not. Okay. What you looking at? King of Pentacles. Change. Ah. You're wondering about the stability or the long term of this thing. Afraid to make change. You didn't know if this person is your empress or not. Show me the future and outcome, please. Show me the future and outcome of this connection. The moon. It's unknown. Or you're dealing with the Pisces. Okay. All I know is that I'm looking at Aries who managed to reestablish a connection despite the ending here. Okay. So congratulations, that's half the battle. You don't know if this is a Ten of Cups, and I'm also seeing the question of this future energy being reflected under the moon. We don't know. Question mark, question mark, question mark. We don't know. But I'm insisting, I'm seeing an Aries who'd rather be in it than not. Who'd rather try than not. Let's do this guy. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Change is scary, even for Aries. Even for Aries, you know? Yeah. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Yeah, there might have been an accusation in your way about, I don't know, Aries, where the direct... Because this is under your obstacles. It could be you. This is going so slow, in your opinion. And uh, you can't see the Ten of Cups. That's why you broke apart. You know, and it might happen again. I don't know. But I do know your conclusion is the same. You would rather try than not. Okay? You would rather try than not. I do know that. You know? What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me this, uh, as far as I can tell, you two are quite affectionate. Very affectionate, emotionally and physically. Show me this King of Wands and the Nine of Cups, please. Show me this King of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Okay, can I get something stronger, please? That tried to flip out. Oh, moving forward, Chariot card of Cancer. Let me know if you're dealing with Cancer. But in the general sense, we have forward momentum here. It feels good, doesn't it? It just feels good. It feels right. It feels smooth. It feels fluid. To have somebody understand you emotionally and physically and to be understood and to understand somebody else. I'm seeing a clear, not confused exchange of information. I love you. You love me. I'm into you, you're into me. This is what I would like. This is what you would like. I'm happy to meet those requests. Okay. Yeah, there was a strain here for a while. There was a strain here. There was a strain here. Somebody had a clear vision of victory because they were using their intuition. But yes, there was absolutely a strain. There was a strain here. Okay. We're showing momentum here. We're showing more momentum here. So was that an accusation on your part, Aries, that things were moving too slow? And so we agreed to pick up the pace. Is that it? Could be. Something along those lines, honey. The Emperor, there you are. Yes, as I said that. So, we've agreed then, you as the Emperor, to pick up the pace. So there was an accusation here in the past of moving too slow, either for you or for them. 
all right? I want to get to the Ten of Cups, so do you. So why is this moving so slow? So the Emperor's like, okay, I'll speed it up. <laughs> you want me to speed it up? I'll speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Lovers, of course. Absolutely, this is your lover. Uh, somebody wants more, and it's looking like you do too. Okay, it's time to speed it up. What your shared mutual energy is, is that you had some conflict here, but we got the nerve to come back together despite our differences, yes? And that's that's wonderful. Yeah, correct. Okay. The lovers and the seven of pentacles. There was a period of stagnation here. Like I said, it wasn't there was a certain speed. Somebody was not happy with it. Somebody was not happy with the speed. We went to a certain point and then we got lazy. We stopped cultivating that garden. Are we on the same page? Do we take this further? Do we go to an eight and nine and ten of pentacles? Okay, what is going on? We made it this far. Are we gonna take it further or do we stop? So we came back together, it's looking like, as lovers here, but not without some time apart or separation, okay? Not without time apart or separation. Somebody has a very strong practical earth component. Uh, this Knight of Wands, the energies picked back up. We're back on the same page now. There was a time reference here. There was a time reference here to stagnation. Nothing was going on. We thought about it. Yeah, okay, there was a disconnect. I understand that there was a disconnect. I can see that for myself, Spirit. I can see that for myself. And in this disconnect, you actually blocked your pathway to the star and you felt it, didn't you? Somebody felt it, but that seven of wands is kind of your energy, honey. There was a disconnect, five of pentacles, the seven of wands to your hope, wish, your vision. You didn't understand that this disconnect blocked your path to the hope and the vision, the wish, the ultimate wish, the idealistic one, the long-term vision, the long-term goal, reaching for the stars star high in the sky so you didn't realize it was blocking you know and then five of pentacles taurine energy we have some heavy earth gemini uh cancer yourself is here as well you know you didn't understand that you didn't understand that somebody did not understand that the stagnation here is what caused the break but i'm seeing two very realistic people have an honest conversation about it and again congratulations you i mean it's just so many people just make declaratives and walk away and then there's so many people who don't know how to speak up for themselves at all. So I'm seeing two people who talked it out. Good for you. Okay, so show me the Knights of Wands. We're moving our direction and energy forward. We want to get back on the same page with our lover. This is excellent. This is past reconciliation. This is not theoretical. This is actually happening for somebody. I'm seeing a makeup after a breakup. Show me the Knights of Wands. So again, I'm very, that's just wonderful, Aries. That's wonderful because you both thought about it for swords. Again, you would rather be together than not. You may not know where it's going, but we're going to try harder and we're going to show mom more momentum to this thing. I don't know where that accusation is coming from because you can be quite decided, but perhaps in regards to this relationship, you could not make a decision. Perhaps you were not decided about this relationship at all because it does feel like more of an accusation about time spent. Where's the energy going? How do we shape this up? How do we move it forward? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's find out. But time did pass, of course. Show me the three swords as airy strengths. You absorbed the pain. And you decided to move forward. Okay. You decided to move forward. Again, the energy is being directed back at the past of this person. You both share this mutually. Okay. Yes. This per is Queen of Pentacles again. Okay. So we've made a firm de uh, decision to move forward. It's like, again, I keep hearing it. I'd rather be this in this than not. If this is what you need, then this is what we're going to do. Correct. The, ah, there it is. There it is. Okay, so it's looking like you bit the bullet. <laughs> you were the bigger person, Aries. That's literally, that's coming across. You were the bigger person. You, Queen of Wands, is looking upon this Three of Cups. Okay, yes, you decided to prompt the reconciliation. You literally absorbed the pain of this, the Three of Swords. Aries put on their big pants, their big girl pants and their big boy pants and said, I'm going to move this forward. This is ridiculous. I'd rather be with this person than not. If they want to speed it up, then we're going to speed it up. So you're the one who prompted, as far as I can tell, you're the one who prompted the reconnection. It's like, okay, all right, we're getting past this. We're going to get past this. All right. Again, I would rather be in this than not. I don't know where it's going, but I don't want to miss this connection either, you know? All right, now the weaknesses, issues, obstacles, the Knight of Pentacles over the Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, okay. Ah, see, there it is, it is a heavy accusation. Let me know if you're dealing with Scorpio. It's a heavy accusation. The reason this thing is over, because it was moving too slow, 
there it is again. And somebody communicated that quite clearly, very clearly. The reason I'm breaking up with you, or reverse energies as it applies, the reason I'm breaking up with you, Aries, is because I don't know where this is going. I don't know. So, I don't know. Why you couldn't devote your time, attention, and energy to this full time, perhaps you didn't trust it. Perhaps it did start out as a lovership situation and it developed into something more and you didn't know if you could trust that. I don't know. But uh, that's the reason why this person, it's looking like they broke up with you, okay? But you seem to know this because it's quite heavily under the weakness category. I don't know where this is going, um, so I'm ending it. It's going too slow. I'm not getting an offer fast enough or something like that. But uh, again, the mutual energy to come together and work things out is incredibly strong. It's incredibly strong. So, I'm seeing more of a reflection of the accusation here, okay? Um, that's it. All right, this is what I'm actually interested in is this moon energy. Show me this moon energy, please, for the outcome for Aries. We don't know. We don't know the outcome. I pull the moon sometimes for outcomes. I think uh, somebody had that in their career. The thing is, we don't know. Neither do you. You already know that, or you wouldn't have made up with them. So, the moon. Show me this moon, please. Let's see if we can get some idea of it. Show me the moon, please. Why is that here for Aries? We're working on it. Eight of Pentacles, we're working on it with strength and conviction with that Leo energy. With strength and conviction, we're working on it. We're working through our moon energy to make things more clear. Look at you. Look at you being mature and shit. Ah! <laughs> we're uh, literally working through our moon energy honey good job good job oh god when i pull the moon i'm just i'm preparing for kicking and screaming and comments it's reverse it's reverse it's reverse and they have the moon energy yeah okay um sure scream it a little louder people in the back didn't hear you um eight of pentacles over the moon you're literally working through your moon energy why am i moving slower why have i not given this as much as my energy is because over here you're giving everything a lot so if this person had complaints before they're not gonna <laughs> look at that that's gorgeous honey you emperor over the chariot over the nine of cups over the king of wands oh yeah you stepped up your game uh, for this person because you feel it don't you that connection especially if it's a lover's energy it's more than the lover's isn't it it's divinely guided that's why you would rather be in it than not you chose the lovers it has been a while since i've said that hasn't it you have to choose the lovers you have to it's not an easy connection it never is you have to choose it they have to choose you i'm looking at an aries who chose the lovers the person who was divinely guided towards you. Whether or not it will work out, I don't know, but you're working diligent through it because you would rather have them than not. Even if you don't know where it's going, even if you don't know why. I'm giving it a damn good thing. Let me know if you're doing Virgo. I did see heavy earth energy here. Your fire is also well represented, which is good, but you're literally working through your moon energy with this person so you can achieve a four of wands. Nice, very nice. You're on guard. Did somebody just, you just had too many burdens in the past and that's why your energy was never free. You just had too many burdens and that was the accusation there. You don't put enough attention on our relationship. Is that it? That could be it. Sure, absolutely. Nine to the ten of ones. That's a hell of a lot of responsibility. So that might be where the accusation is stemming from. You don't give me enough of your time, energy and attention, Aries. That kind of thing. And so you make up for it. You don't want to miss this, and you are both working towards your moon energy. You're working through it, literally, and for the sake of a four of wands, happiness of home, happiness of self, 11-11 mirroring, all that. Okay, so congratulations to you, Aries. Like I said, this isn't for everybody. Everybody wants reconciliation, and it's almost always for the wrong reasons. I didn't get to say they should apologize. I need closure. Not that I mean to dismiss closure. Closure is very powerful, but also not necessary. The only person who can really give you closure is you. Otherwise, you'll always have an excuse to hate the other person. You know? It's, uh, no, it's not like that. I'm seeing a very mature Aries here. Very mature Aries. 
They didn't want to lose this person, so they made up. You know. They did not want to lose this energy, and I can see why. Full moon in Aries. That's your card, honey. A fiery climax approaches. <clears throat> you got this is you just got this written all over you. You're all over this. This is great. Congratulations, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done for realizing. Surrender to the divine as such as the lovers is. Surrender to the divine. Lovely. <laughs> Take time to breathe out. Yeah. <laughs> Take time to breathe out. I know. You do have a lot going on and this relationship is important to you. Otherwise you wouldn't be trying to, to fix it, to heal it. As I see the four swords. And it's both of you. It means a lot to them too. Okay. Aries, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.